Hello Collective, I hope you're doing well. Um, these are going to be the messages for those who paid for a super chat in the last live session and I wasn't able to get to your questions. So let's just jump right into this. Um, so the first one I see is Snow White 681. Um, what are Christopher the Aries feelings for me and outcome? So let's see. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, higher beings, ascended masters, please reach out to me and divine what I guess I do is feeding for the collective. Show me clear and honest messages for collectives. So what is Christopher's feelings towards Snow White 681, please, Spirit? Okay, so we're getting the Knight of Swords. So they definitely want to have a conversation with you here. Ooh, the Two of Cups. Yeah, this person feels like you are a soulmate, but they're a little bit guarded here with that Nine of Wands. Um, tell me about that Nine of Wands. This could be someone who's just maybe been through some things before, so it's hard for them to open up, but they're definitely rushing on in here. They're trying to balance this out here. They're trying to, they recognize that they can be this wounded warrior, that they can be someone who is um, guarded, has their walls up. I feel like they're trying to balance that out here um, because they definitely feel like you're a soulmate here. They're like drawn to you. No wonder the Knight of Swords came out. They're trying to like rush on in here. Um, so what is the outcome between Snow White 681 and Christopher, please, Spirit? What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. Very specific cards want to come out. So we have the Emperor. And we have the Ace of Swords, yeah. So they're going to step up. Oh, I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to step up, have a conversation with you. I feel like they're going to step into that masculine energy and just go for it. Um, they're going to share some truths with you here. Tell me about that Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Okay, so again, this could be that in the past, they've had some heartbreak here. Yeah. In the past, they've had some heartbreak that they're still kind of holding on to, um, that some sort of higher level of commitment ended. They could have been in a third party situation and like unknowingly and then they found out because there's there's pain here. I feel like this person, Christopher, is is hurting um, from what has gone on before us, but they're going to tell you they're going to have a conversation with you. Um, so I hope that helped. OK, next I see. Diana, Diana with a sun emoji. Um, I really like a person want to know whether they will get we will get into relationships so Diana wants to know um, where this is going with her person spirit what is it where is this going with her person thank you we do have the devil here tell me more are they a Capricorn you're dealing with Diana um, we have the ten of cups this could be someone who's fearful of commitment who is fearful of how deep they maybe feel here they could be a little bit obsessed with you here as well um, it's almost like they're scared but can't leave at the same time. Tell me about the devil. Yeah, this person could be playing mind games with you. Like it's like a push-pull with this person. Yeah, the seven of cups. Yeah, they're, this person's confused. I feel like they have a lot of feelings here for you, but they're almost like too scared of it. So they play games with you. There's like a push-pull. They could have other options, you know, that they're um, engaging with or what have you. I feel like this person is stuck. This is a blockage, right? So even if they have the best thing right in front of them here, Diana, they, they're in a phase right now where it feels like they need to overcome their fear. They need to overcome um, the fact, it's almost like they feel like they don't feel worthy of having this happily ever after, because this is happily ever after. So even if you feel it with this person, this person's having a blockage right now. Um, what's the outcome? between Diana and this person, please, Spirit. The Queen of Swords. I feel like you need to set boundaries with this person. Yeah, you need to set boundaries with this person. You need to maybe take a time out. Think about what you really want and need in a relationship here. Go within. Um, talk to your higher self. Meditate because I feel like this person, they're, they're, they're at a blockage right now. They're playing games. They could be keeping their options open. So I feel like this is an opportunity for you, Diana, to say, okay, what do I need and want in a relationship? What are my green flags? What are my red flags? Um, make a list. And if this person's giving you more red flags than anything, which it feels like they might be, um, this is an opportunity for you to reflect here is what I'm getting. So the next person I see is Helen Lee. Um, will my Capricorn come back 
as a true friend or more? Okay, so let's see um, what this person's feelings for are you. What is this person's feelings towards Helen Lee, please, Spirit? Okay. So we have the Seven of Wands. There's almost like a defensive energy here. Mm -hmm. That's why the King of Cups and the Hermit. Yeah, this person's taking a time out right now, Helen Lee. This person is um, reflecting. They're kind of seeing how they feel. So if they're not talking to you right now, if someone's blocked, it's because they're they're really thinking deep about this connection here. There's the King of Cups. I always say the King of Cups is the King of Love. This is someone who has a lot of feelings, who cares deeply, but they have a hard time showing it. They have a hard time offering their cup of love. So it feels like this person knows they have deeper feelings for you, but it, but they could be thinking, you know, is it a best move to be more than friends? It could be a scenario of, I don't want to lose the friendship, right? Tell me about the hermit. Thank you. The three of pentacles. Ooh, and the lovers, yeah. Helen Lee, you have someone here who has deep feelings for you, but they just don't want to ruin it. They want to make sure that the two of you can work together here. Um, it, the lovers used to be called a ch the choice, right? So this person feels like they have a big choice to make, so that's why they're taking a time out here. So they may not necessarily come back in the next little bit because they're, they're thinking. They're really reflecting on this. Okay, next I see Ray, R-A-E. I purchased a super chat. My question is, what is coming in the near future for Jared and I? And what is the fate of our relationship? Okay, what is what can Ray expect between her and Jared, please, Spirit? Okay, so we are getting the Nine of Swords. Tell me more. The Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. So there is an offer coming here, but there's a lot of anxiety here, Ray, either on your end or their, Jared's end, or maybe both of you. What is this Nine of Swords? Whoa. Judgment, Three of Cups. Will there be a second chance? Will there be another chance for the two of you to come together? Um, I feel like there's someone here really thinking about this a lot. They can't get this off their mind. This is the card of second chances, right? I feel like there could be an event that the two of you might decide to go to together. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Um, the Three of Wands. Now you're getting three, three. Yeah, so there's. I feel like there's some sort of event that the two of you might end up together at, whether you plan it or you just run into each other. And then there's a lot of like nervousness around like, is there gonna be a second chance here? But it looks like an offer is coming. Something solid here. Um, what is the fate of your relationship? So like, what is the potential outcome between Okay, so we're getting the Seven of Wands and we're getting the Six of Swords. There's defensiveness here. There is. It's almost like someone feels like they need to stand their ground. They need to defend their opinion and defend what happened, defend what was said. But there is a desire to get to calmer waters here. Um, anything else for the potential outcome between Ray and this person? We're getting the Fool and the Eight of Cups. So, I mean, here's the thing. I feel like there's there's a chance here to kind of just take a leap of faith to just go for it between the two of you, but there has to be a, um, a willingness to not sit in old emotions. So if something has happened between the two of you where it stirs up anxiety, it stirs up nervousness, it stirs up anger, um, that needs to be let go of in order for this to work here. And sometimes that can't happen. Right? At least not right away. So um, tell me about that Eight of Cups. Yeah, there needs to be a balance here, Justice. There needs to be a balance of these emotions here because I feel like someone is very emotional about the connection, about what happened. Um, so there is an, an offer coming, but in order for it to work, there's almost like a, desire, a need to like start fresh. Right? Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. Like There, there has to be a letting go of um, those emotions. Okay? So let's see. Okay, so next I see um, Miss Misty. Just want to know what's coming for love for me and if the Scorpio guy I currently have feelings for that I used to work with will, ret will turn into anything or not if I need to let go. Thanks so much. Okay, so let's see. How does this Scorpio guy feel about Miss Misty, please, Spirit? How does this Scorpio guy feel about Miss Misty? Please. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Yeah, they definitely have feelings for you here. They're nervous, though. They're really nervous about this, Miss Misty. Um, they don't. I feel like they don't know what to say to you. They don't know how to say it. Perhaps it's because uh, you used to work together or there's still some sort of, like, connection there. Ooh, the Hierophant. And then I just Swords. Yeah, this person wants you. 
Um, this person, this Scorpio guy, Miss Misty, really wants you. It's almost like they feel like they need to hurry up or someone else is going to come scoop you up. They want higher level of commitment here. Um, yeah. This is about the Scorpio guy I currently have feelings for. Yeah, so the, the Scorpio guy also has feelings for you, very strong feelings, and they do want higher level of commitment here, but they're nervous. They don't know how to say it. They don't know what to say is kind of what I'm getting here. Um, so what's coming in for love for Miss Misty? I, I feel like it could be the Scorpio guy, but we have the Hermit. So it could be a Virgo. could be someone that um, is kind of like a lone wolf here, kind of spends a lot of time alone. We have the Four of Cups. And we have death. Could be a could be a, could be a Scorpio. I mean, you asked about the Scorpio guy, so it could be this guy, the same one, um, who knows this will be a missed opportunity with that four of cups, right? Perhaps there's been like a quiet period where the two of you haven't been talking, um, but it looks like it's, it kind of it feels like the same energy. It doesn't feel like the, a different one, but it could be two people with similar energy. But that felt the same for me, especially with Scorpio coming out here. Um, okay, so let's see. Now I see. Ashley Tisillis, I really hope I'm saying that right, T-S-I-L-I-S, -I um, sent Super Chat twice, first one, and you would have been able to get one first time, anyway, send a Super Chat, and my question was, I'm a Virgo and BJ is an Aries, we are in separation, morning of fear, we'll come back, okay, so will BJ come back to Ashley Tisillis, please spirit, what, what's going on between them, you, you got the lovers, yeah, I definitely want union here, um, Yes, the, BJ has a lot of strong feelings for you here, the lovers. I mean, out of all the cards to come out, this is what comes out here. Um, what are his future actions? What are BJ's future actions? The Magician, the King of Cups. Tell me more. Thank you. The Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Ashley, some, this person's in love with you. BJ's in love with you. Um, trying to manifest a happily ever after here, something long-term here, Ten of Pentacles. BJ wants to build with you. BJ has a lot of feelings for you. The King of Cups, the King of Love is here, but they might have a hard time offering their couple up, opening up, telling you how they feel, um, letting you know how they feel, like showing you even how they feel, but they're trying to manifest this long-term here with you. Like they want this here with you. Yeah, there's a lot of strong feelings here. This per, like BJ is like really they're thinking about it all the time. They want this. Um, so if you're in separation right now, yeah. Any other for future actions from BJ, please, Spirit. Any other future actions? Ooh, okay. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely want to invest in you here, but they're, they could just be keeping an eye on you. I feel like there's going to be a conversation here. Um, but like I said, I feel like BJ has a hard time opening up. When they do kind of express themselves, they can come off a little bit cold, a little bit detached, like they're not really invested. That's not the case here. They do want to invest here. Um, yeah, so I just heard, don't get it twisted. I don't usually say that, so I don't know if you or BJ says that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of strong feelings here. They, they definitely want long term here with you, Ashley. So let's see. Now I see this Gemini. Hello, paid for a super chat. Gemini talking to a Scorpio. How does he really feel about me? Um, I see there's more, but I'm just going to do that. Okay, so how does this Scorpio uh, feel about this Gemini, please, spirit? How does this? Okay, King of Pentacles. Tell me more. Wow. They said put those back, so I will. That was a lot. Um, how does this Scorpio talk or feel about this Gemini? King of Pentacles and what else? We have the Hanged Man. And we also have the Seven of Cups. It's almost like this, here's the thing. I feel like this person, uh, this Scorpio, wants someone to settle down with and build with. This could be like a business person, someone who has worked really hard to get where they are, but they're, it's almost like they're in limbo right now. They're kind of waiting to see like, if there's other options available, is this the best option? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. The Tower, tell me about the Seven of Cups. Thank you. The Fool, so there could, <laughs> mm. tell me more because it feels like, it feels like there could be, um, 
I feel like there's going to be some sort of tower moment here, some sort of big uh, realization that perhaps this person, the Scorpio, is giving in their energy to other options here as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be people. It could just be like, oh, I might, an option to move away for work right like it doesn't have to be people because people aren't coming out here it could just be like what are my options in terms of like my life um so i feel like there's going to be some sort of tower moment here some sort of big realization and you could find out that this person's kind of putting their energy into something that serves more them than the connection um is what i'm getting will we be together yeah what's the potential outcome between gemini this gemini and this person we're getting the king of wands what's the potential outcome the king of swords the knight of swords i mean there is two kings now here tell me about the two kings yeah there's definitely going to be some sort of fight here there's going to be some sort of drama some sort of tension you could find out that there is another person involved um doesn't have to be a male just because there's kings coming out just someone in their masculine energy here there could just be I feel like there's going to be some sort of conversation where everything just kind of comes out here um, and there's going to be some sort of argument, some sort of tension, some sort of drama here. It just feels like this person, this Scorpio is like weighing out their options. Again, doesn't have to be with other people. It just feels like, mm, like, what do I, where do I really want to go? What do I really want to do? Um, advice for this Gemini, please. The wheel of fortune, the 10 of wands. I feel like this is a heavy burden for you and i feel like that's that's coming to an end here the lucky wheels here your luck is going to change i feel like this conversation if it hasn't happened already this tower moment is going to make you realize that there's a lot more um opportunities for you as well maybe not just in love but just in general um so i feel like whatever feels heavy for you right now it's coming to an end like quite soon actually this gemini sending you lots of love and light because that yeah that energy feels heavy um okay uh next i see uh radshri rajoria i really hope i'm saying that right my question was i'm an aquarius sun scorpio moon when will i meet my divine counterpart so let's go to these these when will radshri i'm radshri i'm so sorry if i'm saying that wrong meet their divine counterpart um any any clarification on that please spirit it's up to you. So what's, ooh, I just got chills. So what I'm getting from that, it's up to you. Here's the thing, and I always say this, um, when we're trying to manifest something, whether it's love, money, a job, a car, a home, it doesn't matter. The energy that we're putting into it will determine how fast it comes along, right? So if there's this energy of, I can't wait, oh my gosh, I'm thinking about it all the time, when's it gonna be here, when's it gonna be here, when's it gonna be here? You're sending out an energy to the universe of lack that it's not happening, that you don't have it. If you start acting as if, I am so in love with my divine counterpart, they love me so much, um, you're sending out the energy that it's already there, so it comes in quicker. So for example, this might sound silly, but I, I actually, I've <laughs> researched so much about the law of attraction and manifestation, so these are examples I've come across. If uh, if you go to bed at night and you're hoping for this divine counterpart to be in your life, but you sleep in the middle of your bed, you're also you're subconsciously sending a universe a message to the universe saying, "I want this divine counterpart, but I'm but sleeping in the middle of the bed tells you I'm not actually making space for them." Like sleeping on one side of the bed is saying, "I want my divine counterpart and I'm making space for them to sleep on the other side of the bed with me." Things like that. So, um you kind of just have to like live as if that person is already in your life. Of course, like, you know, the image I just got in my head was like making breakfast for two. Like, you know, that could be a waste of food. Don't do that. But putting out the energy that it's already yours, um, acting as if and then letting it go. Right. It's just like ordering something from Amazon. Like I'm going to put in my order. This is exactly what I want. And now I'm going to forget about it. Um, scripting is very, very, very powerful as well. Um, I will post some links down below on like some videos that have helped me with scripting. Write out exactly what you want from your partner. I'm talking height. 
eye color, hair color, what they do for an occupation, how much money they make, where they live, what they like everything write it out and here's the thing write it out once put it to the universe and then forget about it Um, because if you keep writing it out over and over again and you don't write the exact same thing it's like ordering a different person each time Um, but again there's there's a fine balance between putting that energy out um, actively and then letting it go and surrendering because you already know it's yours it's already coming Um, so again I'll post some links down below so I do hope that helped um let's go to the next so next i see bgl um i'm a virgo pisces rising how will my current relationship develop in the near future so what is the potential outcome for bgl's relationship please spirit Ooh. okay right away we got the devil um so let's just see what this is about what is this devil card about please for bgl please spirit we have the knight of cups the four of pentacles and the ten of wands this feels heavy Um, It's almost like I feel like there's this um, sort of cycle where like it's really good, like the dates could be really good, it could feel like it's going somewhere and then if someone pulls back their energy it feels like it doesn't feel as uh, strong anymore and then this just becomes a burden and it it kind of feels like a cycle like this just keeps happening so every time there's like this these good times and it starts to feel like this could really go somewhere this will be something then it kind of like go falls back into this that's how it's feeling for me here um anything else for the potential outcome for bgl's relationship we're getting the six of cups so history here uh history repeating itself Um, And there's that Wheel of Fortune, that cycle that I was kind of picking up on here. So yeah, it just kind of feels like whatever has happened between the two of you before, whatever history the two of you have, especially if it does feel like this kind of like, I want to say, I'm going to use this word because it's coming to mind, like toxic cycle. It's really, really, really good. It's really good. Then all of a sudden it starts to feel burdensome and like heavy and like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and then it's good again. Like it feels like a cycle here. It feels like it keeps going in circles. Um, Any advice for BGL, please, Spirit? We have the three of swords we have the tower so there could be some sort of tower moment here bgl where um perhaps a third party is revealed or there's just some sort of like ending here that it's painful um anything about that three of swords please thank you yeah five of wands there's there's going to be some sort of fight some sort of argument here i'm seeing the lovers the lovers used to be called the choice um there's some sort of tower moment here that's going to end in heartbreak unfortunately i'm sending you so much love uh bgl um it just feels like a cycle with this person yeah Uh uh-huh um they're they're asking me to go here so i will messages for bgl please spirit said that one communication is key messages for bgl please okay you and your loved ones are safe the end of a tough cycle approaches Mm -hmm. and expect powerful change my favorite card in this deck yeah so there's if the tower moment hasn't happened already here bgl it's it's uh it's bringing about good change here but it's it's yeah there's going to be some sort of like big fight some sort of drama here um again sending you so much love and light okay Next, I see Alec Rose. Um, Alec Rose. Let me just shuffle these. What will happen now with the relationship between Adrian and I? Um, okay, what's gonna? What's happening between Alec and Adrian? Alec and Adrian, please, spirit. Okay, so we got the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So um, there's definitely union here. This is my soulmate card. So the two of you uh, could feel very, very drawn to each other. The Ten of Pentacles, this is like long term. This is building together. This is we're not going anywhere anytime soon kind of energy here. Um, What's anything else between Alec and Adrian, please, Spirit? Okay, we got the lovers, we got the ace of wands, we got the five of pentacles, and we have judgment. This is so interesting because what's coming to mind here is that there could be a choice for you 
with this lovers and this ace of wands there could be a choice between what is already going on between you and alec um, and a new opportunity here with this ace of wands so someone where you feel very passionate um, this could even be an X with the judgment card, uh, someone coming back for another chance here, but someone's going to feel left behind. Someone's going to feel left out in the cold, whether it's this new energy or, or Alec, sorry, or Adrian. Um, it feels like you're going to have a choice here to make though. Yeah. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah. You're, it, it's going to feel like you you're like analyzing the situation over and over again. Like, what do I do? What do I do? It's going to, you're going to feel stuck about this i feel like there's going to be a choice to be made here um so whether it's adrian coming back for another chance and wanting long term with you and a new love being in your life already and then you have to choose or you're with adrian and then a new love comes in and you feel like you you're stuck but it feels like either way someone's going to feel left behind here unfortunately um these are tough decisions to make but i feel like what any advice for alex or alec sorry for alec yeah okay i feel like um there's yeah you're gonna have options here right you're gonna feel like you don't really know what to do here you could even feel guarded from past energies whether it's adrian or another person um but don't lose hope here because i feel like you're gonna get past this you're gonna feel confused you're gonna kind of be looking at the past wondering like did i make the right decision or how do i make this decision but i feel like you're gonna your intuition is going to guide you here um, your those gut feelings are real so go for that but yeah I just feel like there's a choice to be made here um, Alec so let's see okay next I see uh, Zeneb Zeneb El Hassan I really hope I'm saying that correctly I apologize if I'm not um, me and my love interest shaker in stagnant mood no communication I'm wondering if he moved or just being stubborn does he have feelings for me Okay, what are this person's feelings for Z for Zeneb, please, Spirit? Whoa. Okay, we're getting the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. This person wants to be independent. I feel like they want to be on their own here. The, the Knight of Wands is someone who's like a player, in and out, hot and cold. Um, here today, gone tomorrow. So I feel like this person could be the type of person where like they come around when it's convenient for them. And then as soon as they need, they want to do their own thing, they, they're off to the races, doing, doing whatever they need to do. Um, Anything else? The Seven of Pentacles. This person could be really focused on their work. Um, ooh, the lovers. Yeah, they feel like they have a choice here to make as well. Like that's really coming through. I mean, there is there is strong feelings for you here. I do feel like there's going to be communication coming in, but this Knight of Wands, I just feel like this person's inconsistent with you. Like they, they do have very strong feelings, but um, I feel like they, there's a lot of talk and maybe not a lot of action. I feel like the actions that they're taking right now are to invest in themselves. So like, I really feel like it could be work related. Um, tell me about the Knight of Wands. I just feel like they're inconsistent with you. Could even be with the communication. Um, we are getting the Empress. Tell me more. Do they have a, like a, a maternal figure in their life that they are uh connected to it could be a mom or like an aunt um or an ex that they have children with or something like that um tell me about the knight of wands the sun i'm also getting here zenob that i feel like this person sees like views you very highly um but they're they're just inconsistent with you they're just inconsistent with you here yeah like there's a lot of abundance a lot of happiness here you could be like the motherly figure um the maternal figure the the, the feminine energy that um I'm, that's coming through here it doesn't have to be another person but it just feels like this person like you make them really happy but they're kind of like in their ego here with the six of wands like they're kind of worried more about like maybe like material things or like how they look um but there's definitely strong feelings there Okay, next I see um, Lisa Hines. Okay, hi Kay. You just said, but I felt you were putting the message. One of my last Sagittarius lovers coming back, and we'll try to develop a relationship or friendship. Um, okay, so obviously I'm going to answer it here in the video. Hopefully you can watch this video, Lisa. Um, but I'll try and 
perhaps type something up for you as well. Um, but let's see. Okay. My last Sagittarius lover is coming back. Okay, so for Lisa, how does this Sagittarius feel about her? Whoa, okay. We have Judgment and we have the Two of Pentacles. Like they want a second chance, but they're kind of like going back and forth about it here. Um, they're waiting for the right time to come forward here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot here, Lisa. It, they want another chance, but they're just like, go. what is this Two of Pentacles? They could just be dealing with a lot of responsibilities here could be uh like money stuff that they're dealing with the four you know what this per you know what just came through with these two cards this person's pride could really be in the way they know this will be a missed opportunity but they're the type of person that can be very prideful so they might take a long time to answer they might take a long time to get back to you kind of deal because they feel like it's almost like they want to be chased at times is kind of what what's coming through here um what's the potential outcome between lisa and this person Four of Pentacles. See again. Now you're getting four, four, holding back here, right? Like, like keeping things to themselves. It's like it's almost like I don't want to say my feelings first. That's how it's coming across. But look at that. Like they want higher level of commitment here with you. They want things to move forward. They're waiting for the right time, but they they want to be sure. And the way they're going to be sure is if they know that you're on the same page. This is one of those things where it's like I have feelings, but I don't know what her feelings are or what Lisa's feelings are. So I don't want to say mine first. I don't want to be vulnerable first. That's how it's coming across here. Okay. Um, I hope that helped. Let's see. Next, I see uh, Nadia Rushton. Um, hi, paid for a super chat. I'm a Pisces. Which man is the right one for me? Troy, Marcus, or Isaac? Will one of them be around for long? Okay. Uh, I don't know how to go about this with the tarot. Troy, Marcus, or Isaac. Okay, so who does Nadia? Uh, which one is the right one for Nadia? I guess maybe if you know their sun, their signs. Okay, so it could be that one. If one of them is a fire sign, or one of them that you have like a very strong, like passionate connection with here, like a lot of physical chemistry. Um, any other indicator for who is right for Nadia? Who is right for Nadia? Whoa. There's going to be some sort of tower moment with this person. Um, mm. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be some sort of tension here. There's lots of fire coming through. So this person could maybe find out that there's other people involved or something like that. They could feel like maybe you're being a player. You're being inconsistent here. This is the person who's right, though. The one who uh, there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion here. Um, but it does feel like there's going to be some sort of like tension here with what's going on. Um, anything else? How will Nadia know who? I feel like it's the one who uh, you're out, you're you're going to know in divine timing here. Um, something's going to happen exactly when it's supposed to here. Yeah, and then there's going to be a, a love offer, like a strong love offer. So I feel like it's like whoever's the newest. Could, heavy fire energy is also Scorpio, um, but they're, they're, it also feels very, very new. Um, so I don't know if you met these people all around the same time or what have you, but it just feels like there's going to be this big kind of like blow up. And this is the one who I feel like fights fights for the connection in some way, whether it's that they have other options or they find out you have other options or there's just an argument in general. Um, but there's a lot of fiery like action going on here and it feels new, new. Okay, so hope that helped let's see um next i see rosalina um okay so again is taurus O finally ready for a commitment and serious this time or does he just want to waste my time again okay so let's see what their intentions are so what is this taurus's attention intentions towards rosalina please spirit well eight of swords they're definitely in their head about this whatever it is the nine of pentacles what are their intentions
We have the devil and the queen of cups. This person has a blockage. It's like they uh, can't open up here. They have a really hard time with their feelings. So they wonder, am I just better off to be single here? So I feel like this is someone that even though there is a lot of feelings here for you, this is the queen of love. They have a hard time. They can be selfish at times. So I feel like this person wonders, this Taurus wonder, like, should I just be by myself? Should I just be on my own? Maybe I'm not meant to be with someone. Maybe I'm not meant to be in a connection with Rosalina or with anyone because it's really hard for them. Emotions are something that like do not come easy for this person. Um, yeah. Anything else for their intentions here? I also feel like they could, okay, we are getting the queen of pentacles. Tell me more. They could be sort of like manipulative with emotions as well with that devil and queen of cups. Like they could be someone that try to like make you feel bad, like guilt trip you for stuff. Don't let them do that. Um, tell me about these two queens. The six of swords. Tell me more. The five of pentacles. Whoa, whoa. Page of wands, eight of cups. If there's another person involved, I do feel like they're walking away from that individual. Um, yeah, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they, they could be lying about something that they are going to walk away from here. Um, but either way, I do feel like this person struggles with emotions here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, that's their intentions. They kind of just are doing the same thing they were. What Any next actions towards Rosalina? Any next actions? We're getting the Three of Swords. So... If you have high expectations for this person, I feel like they aren't able to meet them. They're just not able to go to the depths that you need them to go, Rosalina, is what I'm getting. And I'm sending you so much love and light. Um, okay, next I see Wit, W-H-I-T. Um, I'm a cap who dealt with a Gemini. I think this might be over, so I want to know what's next for me in love. Okay, what's next for Wit in love, please, Spirit? Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Interesting. What's next for Wit in Love? There could be an offer coming towards you here. Um, but I feel like at this point, you're going to kind of be like, I... I feel like there's this desire to just like be single. Even when the offer does come, it's not going to be too up to par of what you're hoping for here. So I feel like you're just going to be like, you know what? <laughs> F it, I'm just going to be single for now. I feel like you're just working on your world. You're working on your independence, your self. Um, financially, you could be like looking at side hustles, things like that. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Lovers. There's a choice you're going to have to make here. And I feel like it could... Um, I feel like because it's going to be a tough choice to make here, but it could be between two people or just, again, your independence and a person. But I feel like it's uh, you have to go with what you feel the most passionate about here, Wit, is what I'm getting. Um, mm -hmm. So it could even be between you and that Gemini, that Gemini, because this is Gemini energy, right? You might have a choice between that Gemini coming back and what you want. Um, it just feels like there's a bit of like deception here, like either lying to yourself or lying to the other person, just like keeping things to yourself. Um, but I feel like you're gonna, I feel, I just feel this energy of like, I'm just gonna focus on me. That's how it feels. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Enchanted Moon Tarot, I don't see Super Chat. Okay, well, I'll just go. I'm just going to go in order here. So, Enchanted Moon Tarot by Donna Jones. Um, how does Daryl feel about me? Okay, how does Daryl feel about Enchanted Moon Tarot, please, Spirit? Wow. Getting the Hierophant and the King of Swords. This person wants higher level of commitment here with you, um, but they also come off like they are very cold, detached, like they don't want that. Um, we're getting the Moon and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. 
Wow, this is powerful energy. The Ten of Wands, you're getting 10-10 and the Tower. Something's going to happen here where I feel like it's just going to, even if there is higher level commitment between the two of you or some sort of commitment, I feel like this person's detaching. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things that, like, you feel like this person keeps a lot of secrets and I feel like it's going to deteriorate the connection here. There's going to be some sort of Tower moment where it just all kind of like comes to an end. It just feels heavy. It feels like this is too much. It feels like... Uh, yeah, it just feels it just feels like there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of unknown. And it's not so much like about getting to know someone. Like of course no one's going to tell you their whole life story the second you meet them, but it just feels like where like what what are we even doing if we're doing this? Um so it just feels like any any advice? Any advice for enchanted moon tarot? Yeah, it just feels heavy. We got the 4 of wands um celebrate your successes yeah you're getting the three of cups the knight of swords celebrate your successes because i feel like there's yeah there's something big coming towards you here and even if this feels really heavy there's something you're really going to want to celebrate here there's some sort of like there's something you have to make a decision about pretty quickly almost like an impulse not impulsive because you're going to think about it but it's like whoa i got a, that opportunity came quick but it's going to bring a lot of happiness a lot of success here um so of course these situations hurt here but this almost feels like once that burden is lifted, so much more can be, there can be room for so much more. Um, Connie A, I think you did great. Thank you so much, Connie. Okay. Um, okay, so next I see the Empress. Um, I want to know about the overall energies and where my relationship is headed with my Gemini. Okay, so the Empress. Uh, what is the energy between the Empress and their Gemini, please, Spirit? Ooh, well, you got the Empress, the Empress. That must be your energy here. Very abundant, happy, positive energy here. That's beautiful. Um, the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. There's definitely, this is he definitely heading somewhere here. Heading somewhere good, it feels like. Uh, and then the Five of Wands comes out. What, what is that? Um, the Four of Cups, Judgment, the Devil the queen of cups interesting okay what was the question what is the overall energy there's a second chance wanting here like the judgment card is here this could be your gemini wanting the second chance here but again similar to what just came out earlier i can't remember who's reading this was i feel like there's a blockage with emotions here which could cause a lot of fights here so it's like even though the two of you can see this going to like together the two of you are you a mother or is this person a mother um or maybe both of you are. There's a lot of maternal energy coming through here. It just feels like when the second chance is given, I feel like there's, there's, it doesn't have to be a second chance, could just be another chance. There's just a blockage here with emotions. So I feel like it's gonna cause a lot of tensions. Like we're gonna miss out on this opportunity to be together if you or me or both of us don't open up, but there's a blockage here. What is a potential outcome? Please, spirit the sun there's a lot of happiness here so overcoming this blockage um could oh you got the ten of pentacles the empress i think this is the best reading so far yeah the, this looks really good it's just overcoming this it's almost like a fear of opening up a fear of being vulnerable a fear of showing emotion here and once you or this person or both of you get over that and just start to open up once that that tension dies down between the two of you like the potential here is beautiful long-term happiness abundance joy i mean you started off with this beautiful divine feminine energy that's so funny that you are the empress and that came out first um, so looks good. There just needs to be uh, an awareness of and a willingness to overcome that blockage with emotions. Okay, the Empress. So let's see. Okay, next I see Christina Newberry. Um, how about Mr. Virgo Jonathan and Libra Christina? My question is how my Virgo feel about me. Okay, how does this Virgo feel about Christina? Please, Spirit. I'm just going in order of the comments on the video. Okay, we're getting seven, eight of wands. So it's like this person wants to talk to you. Yeah, four of wands. Wow, lots of fire energy. Um, this person is very passionate about the connection. They definitely want 
um, to be stable here with you, to have success here with you. There's a lot of, they want forward movement. This could even be engagement. Um, but is someone blocked? Or is there just like a lack of, it, it moves from like not a lot of communication or like very defensive to like, wow, things move quickly, very quickly into this like stable connection here. Um, yeah. So definitely wants to come back here, Christina. Okay, next I see VW. My name is Vanessa. So Vanessa, I sent money. Okay. Um, I'm also not good with technology, Vanessa, so I feel you. I'm a Leo, and the question I have is, will my Taurus get back together, and if so, when? Thank you, Kay. You're an amazing reader. I always watch your readings for Leo and Taurus. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for your support and your kind words. You're so, so sweet. Um, okay, so let's see. What's gonna, what is the potential outcome between Vanessa and her Taurus, please? Or their Taurus, the hermit. So it could be a little bit longer in uh, hermit mode, maybe not talking, but there is a desire to work together here. Uh, the Ace of Swords, yeah, there's gonna be a conversation here. There's gonna be some sort of truth spoken that I feel like brings the two of you back together and allows you to work together towards making this connection work. Um, what are the, what is Taurus's next actions towards Vanessa? The Seven of Cups. <laughs> the Hierophant, the Sun, the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful energy, but the, like, why is there confusion around this? Is this person confused or maybe you are? are? you like, whoa, like where did this come from? I didn't even know you felt like this or that's kind of what it feels like here. It doesn't feel like like confusion like because there's other people involved. It just feels like, whoa, like are we really moving? Are we really doing this? Is this really happening? That's kind of how it feels here because this is beautiful energy. This is like long term. This is commitment. This is happiness. This is like feeling like you found your forever after. Um, so I feel like once once there's a com that conversation, that conversation is going to bring a lot of clarity, like where this person stands here with you. But also I feel like it's going to be like a surprise. Like what? Like I'm confused. Wait a second. Like you want to do what? Like that's how it's coming across to me here. Um, Vanessa, that's beautiful energy. I love that. Okay. Okay, next I see X, X teen, X T I N E. Um, current energies about my love life and my Capricorn. Okay, so what's, what is this Capricorn's feelings towards X teen, please, Spirit? What is this Capricorn's feelings towards X teen? You're getting the Four of Wands, so they definitely want commitment here with you. Uh, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to settle down with you. I feel like they want to nurture the connection here. It's almost like they're planning on how to go about doing that, though. This could even be in an engagement, some sort of offer, um, if you're not already engaged. Um, I feel like this person wants to take that next step here with you, whatever that might be. They feel very passionate about this. Um, I'm also getting, I feel like they could be waiting for the right time here, though, whatever that means. Um, what about x -teen's career? What can you tell me about their career? What can you tell me about their career? The Page of Pentacles. You might get some sort of offer here um, that really puts things off the ground. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna bring you to a place where you feel really good about what you're doing. There's gonna be some could be from a younger uh, Earth sign. Doesn't have to be. There's gonna be some sort of like offer here that just makes you feel like okay, now I know exactly which direction to take this. So even if your business is doing well. Um, in some in the, some whatever capacity i feel like there's going to be like an idea or an offer here someone's going to say something or offer you to do something in a, in a way that you're going to be like aha it's like an aha moment um and it really leads you into i feel like financial like stability like money will not be an issue is what i'm getting here um beautiful okay um okay next i see scara scaramouche I hope I'm saying that right. I sent a super chat. My question was, I am a Libra and he is a Sag. What does he think about our connection? Okay, what does this Sagittarius think about the connection with Scaramouche? The Six of Wands. They feel good about this. Oh yeah, they see this long term. I feel like the two of you might even like look really good together here. Um, this person feels good about it. They feel on top of the world. They want long term. They want to build here with you. 
I think this person could be very smart, very intelligent, a, a deep thinker. Um, so they can kind of come off like they're kind of in their head all the time or like they just do things very logically, very analytically. Like, okay, next move, we're going to do this. Next step, we're going to do this. Like in order to get where they want to go and they could kind of apply that to their love life sometimes. But this person definitely wants long term here with you. Um, they want to build with you. Okay. Next, I see Trudy DeFranco. Um, I left my super chat question in the reading. Um, what is Matt's feelings and intentions towards me? Okay, so how does Matt feel towards Trudy, please, Spirit? Oh, we got the Queen of Swords and we got the Knight of Wands. So they could be in and out. They could be like hot and cold with you. Um, let's see. They could act like detached from this connection here. Um, tell me more. We have death and we have the four of wands. Okay. You know what? I'm actually enjoying that energy because it feels like whatever, like inconsistency this person is doing with you here, Trudy, I feel like that's coming to an end. There's going to be some sort of transformation here because it's leading into the four of wands. So this could be that next big step in your connection, whatever that is like, I don't know, being, being exclusive, moving in, meeting family or friends, engagement, like even going on a trip I'm kind of getting here. Um, yeah, let's see there. What is Matt's intentions? What is their intentions? Oh, we got the devil and we got the ace of cups. Why is that? That devil card's coming out quite a bit. Tell me more about the devil. The six of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. They could just take a really long time, a really long time to offer something solid here. It's moving into that direction, but I feel like this person this is similar to what was just coming out for someone else. It feels like uh, Matt has a heart, like they don't wanna be the first one to say it. They wanna be the first one to say their feelings because they feel like that makes them too vulnerable here. Um, I feel like at times you feel like you put more into the connection than they do. And they kind of like that. It kind of makes them feel like you, like it lets them know how strongly you feel about them. This isn't someone who, you just have to tell once and they're like, okay, I know how uh, Trudy feels about me. That's all I need. It's like someone who almost like feels like, like they want you to chase them. So they want to move into this like next step with you here, but it's taking a long time. There has to be some sort of transformation here because it almost feels like they're playing like cat and mouse a little bit right now. Okay. Next I see... PR, those are just the letters PR. What advice do you have for abundance? Aquarius trying to come back. I am a Taurus. What are his true intentions and what advice do you have for the situation? So I'm, oh, sorry, Patty Resendez. Um, what advice do you have for abundance? So I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is just asking me personally or from the tarot. Um, well, let's see, what comes out for abundance for PR? You're getting 4-4 four, four right away. Tap into your your own energy here. Yeah, you, ha you have to remember that when it comes to abundance, any type of abundance, love, money, career, job, house, doesn't matter. It's all about you. Your thoughts are so powerful. Everyone's thoughts are so powerful. You are a powerful manifester. So take time to think about what you want here. Um, plan for it. Say, I was doing this earlier in a reading. Think about it like you already have it. Thank the universe like you already have it. Act as if you already have it. Put out that energy that it's yours already. Like what would it feel like to already have that abundance? What would it feel like to have that amount in the bank or have that job or live in that home or drive that car or go on that vacation or whatever it might be? What would it feel like? Sit in that is what I'm getting. And you're getting four four. So your angels are definitely around you here. I feel there's a lot, there's actually a lot of protection around you right now. I'm not, I don't usually get that in readings here, Patty, but there's, it, it, it's almost like there's guidance around you that you need to tap into. You need to take some time to just like rest, just chill out. And it's going to just come to you. Like, I feel like you're just going to sit there and be like, you know what? I really want this. And then you're going to start script. You might start scripting. Um, there's a link. I'll put a link in the video down below. You might start, like you're gonna learn about like manifestation techniques, it feels like. Um, okay, so what is uh, Aquarius's true intentions 
for Patty Resendez. Queen of Cups, they have a lot of love for you. A lot of love. But they overanalyze it. Four of Swords. They want to th they they might be taking a time out right now before <laughs> before that. So this person has a lot of feelings for you, Patty. A lot of feelings for you. That Queen of Cups, that Queen of Love. But they almost like analyze it so much. They're taking a time out and then all of a sudden they come rushing in. Lots of thinking going on here. Lots of air energy. So it's like the feelings are there. Then they're kind of like, what do I do with them now? Let me think about this. Um, but then they come rushing in here. Um, any advice for Patty, please, Spirit? Whoa. The two of swords, the sun, go with, after, go with what makes you feel really happy with what's really good. Yeah, you're going to have, there's going to be a moment of clarity here. If you feel indecisive about this connection, there's going to be a moment of clarity out of nowhere where you just know exactly what to do. Again, I feel like as you're taking that time to rest and reflect, you could start meditating even. You're Because there's protection all around you. There's guides all around you trying to give you answers. Look out for synchronicities, especially for... Um, you're going to know exactly what to do. Okay. Um, okay. Next I see Sunny. Sunny. Help me. I'm in love with a Libra. I get a vibe. She likes me. But I'm not sure if I should go with the energy I feel. How does this Libra feel about Sunny, please? Six of Wands. Wow. The Ace of Swords. The Fool. The Page of Wands. The Three of Cups. The Page of Cups, yeah, they're definitely interested in you as well. There's going to be some sort of conversation that the two of you have that brings a lot of clarity to the situation. Is this person younger than you? They don't have to be. They could just have like a really like having a good time. Um, so taking that leap of faith and going after you is something that I feel like this person, <laughs> I don't usually get this. They might do it while they're drunk. I'd be like, guess what? Like I love, like I like you so much. Like I'm, I'm hearing this like funny drunk conversation. It's very innocent. It's very sweet. Um, yeah, this person, I feel they're definitely interested. They're curious about you. I don't, it doesn't feel like they're like in love with you, but I feel like there's definitely going to be like a clarity conversation where they're like, yeah, I'm interested in you. I want to see where this could go here. Um, okay. Um, next I see... Oh, MW, thank you so much for your wonderful comment. You are insanely insightful, intuitive. And the number of wow. I feel honored and blessed to have your energy read mine. Thank you so much, MW. I'm getting chills all down my spine while I read that. Your energy is beautiful. It's very strong. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for, uh, yeah, your kind words. Like, that just blows, it blows me away when I read these kinds of comments. Like, um, I'm j just so grateful. So thank you, thank you. Um... Okay, next I see, okay, sorry I missed your first slide, thank you DL, um, okay, next I see Miss A. Ott, 2019, underscore, 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 um, okay, I'm a Gemini, my Pisces man is named Simon, we're in a long distance relationship for about a year now, waiting for his text one day when he'll come back to Florida. He's in Colorado. We text every day or night. He's my everything. We're so in love. My question is, when will my Pisces man Simon come back to me in person in loving arms? This year or the next year? Okay, well, let's let's go here then. So Miss Ott 2019. When will Simon come back? Whoa, okay. You got no need to worry and opportunity. So, and then we got in the near future. So if you were hoping for something sooner than later, it looks like it's going to happen sooner than, than what you were thinking. No need to worry. No need to worry. I feel like this is a beautiful opportunity. It's going to happen exactly when it's supposed to here. I know divine timing is not everyone's favorite thing, um, but that's what it feels like here. Okay, so thank you so, so much, everyone. Um, your generosity and support just blows me away every single time, whether it's I upload a reading or I read your comments or you know I'm gonna tr start trying to do lives more often. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, beyond blessed for every single one of you. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm just so grateful. <laughs> I got a loss for words sometimes, but I do hope these uh, messages helped. Um, again, I will try to do future live sessions uh, more often, and I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, um, and I'm sending you all so much love and light.